All right. My name is Nate Amundsen. I'm the elementary school band director here at Kettle Moraine Lutheran High School. Um, I'd like to thank you for tuning in, whether it's live or if you're going to be joining us uh, some point down the road. We will be hosting this on our website for quite a while. Uh, we usually do this event with lots of people in the room and obviously can't do that this year. So it's a little bit strange for us this year, um, but we wanted to make sure that we got all the information out to you that you needed to make a decision about hopefully joining us for our band program in the fall. Um, I would like to introduce one other person, um, our high school band director and one of the other people who works with our elementary school band students is Miss Angela Hohenstein. Um, she'll be here too. And um, we do have the opportunity, if you have any questions throughout the presentation, uh, there's a link right there on the screen. Uh, there's actually two links on the screen. Uh, one of them would be to the presentation. If you want to follow along, uh, you'd have the chance to click on any hyperlinks along the way, which will take you to some documents that I'll mention. Um, and then also the uh, link there, you could either type that in or if you want to get to the presentation and then click on that link, you can ask questions if you'd like. Um, Mrs. Hohenstein will be watching for any questions that come in and we'll have some, a chance at the end to uh, cover any of those with you. So uh, today we are going to cover a few things. Um, the blue hyperlinks on here, if you do want to actually get to uh, the presentation itself, it's a, a Google slide presentation. Um, you can click on those links and they'll take you to different things, but we'll kind of hit the highlights as we go through each of those. But uh, that's our plan for the questions. Uh, down at the bottom is the link if you do have any questions along the way that you would like to talk through. Here's a short video we just want to share with you, and then I'll talk through some other things. When Lauren came home and said she wanted to play saxophone, which is the instrument that I play, of course I was very excited. Uh, we thought, well, this is, might be a phase, not sure. So we agreed with it and just waited for it to kind of go through, and that was the end of fourth grade. When he came home with the instrument and put the trombone together, we thought, oh my goodness, it's almost as big as him. Well, when we got the trumpet for Brayden and went and picked it out, when we came home, he was very excited, cleaned out the trumpet, even though he was not sure what he was doing, um, and then started to play it. And the sound that came out in the beginning was a little loud and a little concerning, but he still was enthusiastic about learning how to play the trumpet. At the very beginning, uh, the first sounds can be a little rough, um, although I will say those are the best sounds because it's so exciting for the kids to make their first notes. I'm happy that Dylan plays an instrument, but beside that, I'm happy that she is with a group of kids that is dedicated and focused. Her peer group community is amazing. I couldn't be happier with her friends. Beyond the music that the students are making, the environment they're in, um, establishes friendships and relationships that are very unique and very powerful and uh, beautiful. They are surrounded by good kids and great teachers and fun experiences. She's still little, she's only in the fourth grade, just starting out, but it gets better. Now that he has been playing the instrument for six weeks, I cannot believe the improvement that he has made. Um, he's come a long way. He still has the passion. He's encouraged every day by his other friends that are in the band to continue to play. What excites me the most as a teacher is to see the students' lights go on when they um, play together as a group and really sound good. When it locks in and everything is happening and we'll have a cutoff and everyone just goosebumps. Since she started playing, her confidence level has really gone through the roof. Uh, I've seen a big difference in her just presence when playing an instrument. It's amazing. Kids should do band because it feels so good. It's fun. You're part of a group. You belong to something. You work towards something, something and in the end um, you have something you're very, very proud of. I don't know anything about music, but I don't need to because her band director gives her everything she needs to know. I myself don't have any experience with being in the band, so wasn't sure how it would be incorporated um, into uh, Braden's homework. Um, it's something additional added on to his uh, other activities. I am happy that she's so dedicated to it and that she enjoys it. It's not something that I have to ask her to do. When a parent comes to me, and they often do, to ask why should their child do band, the answer is because it will change them. They will learn things and have experiences and grow in wonderful ways. 
any parents who are on the fence of having their child sign up for a band, I would definitely encourage it because you'll see the difference in their confidence level. Just try it. Let your child try it. And um, them experiencing the instrument um, is worth everything. They'll love it, fall in love with it. Um, it's just a unique experience that's unlike anything else. And they don't know if they love it unless they try it. I love Braden a lot. And to see him uh, be able to pick up the trumpet and play, it's, it's just so encouraging. And um, it's, it's, it's a warm, warm feeling as a parent. When I see Dylan on stage, the first thing I think is that um, her father passed away, um, that he would be so proud of her. I love my daughter so much that I want to provide this experience for her. It will take time and money and resources throughout the years, but it's an experience that I don't want her to grow up without. I cannot imagine a world a place without music. We all have music within us, Stu kids especially. Um, they're walking around wanting an outlet, and that's what music is. It's an expression, and uh, to not have that would be like, tragic. So that video, uh, some information from the parent perspective. Uh, normally when we're able to, uh, this past week would have been the week we would have visited the students at their schools. We have a different video that we share with them. And that video is the students that you see in that video uh, talking about their experiences being involved in band, what they like about it, uh, how they chose their instrument, those sorts of things. Um, and there's some other things too uh, with other students um, all the way up through high school talking about their experiences and uh, different reasons that they enjoy being involved in music. So th that video is actually on our website. We have another video that kind of takes the place of the other portion of what we do with the students when we're out visiting their schools. And that is uh, this year we put a, a video of the U.S. Army Field Band uh, members demonstrating instruments. They talk a little bit about them, uh, how they work, different pieces of the instrument, and then uh, demonstrate some things that are much beyond maybe what we could do for the students on our instruments for them. Uh, so that's kind of a neat opportunity. And then also the uh, different things that we'll be talking about, um, handouts that normally you would receive if you were here, you'll be able to get on our website as well. So uh, why be involved in music? That's a question we, we don't necessarily assume that everyone tuning in is, is sold hook, line, and sinker. Um, but we do want to give you some information about some of the benefits that we see, some of the things that we hope that we can provide for the students. First is that music is a lifelong activity. There are lots of things that students enjoy doing uh, throughout their lives that maybe as they get older, they may not be able to do anymore. And music is an opportunity to do something that you can do into your 80s, 90s, uh, things like that. There's a, a gentleman in the West Bend area that I sat down and played next to uh, in a concert situation, and we were just kind of chatting about different things. And so he asked what I did and how old I was, which I thought was kind of an interesting question. But I returned the favor, said, so how old are you, can I ask? And, and he was 86 at the time and still playing trumpet and having a great time. So uh, you can see from the beginning here, we're kind of today talking about the elementary school band program, which would then lead to hopefully a high school band experience. College, whether you decide to major in it or not, uh, there's always opportunities to perform, uh, not only perform, but get scholarships as well to help pay for college, which is fantastic. Playing for church is always great. Uh, that happens anytime from you know, beginners on. So adults certainly play for church, but one of our goals is to get students involved as soon as we can playing in worship as well, whether it's uh, church services, chapel, any other things that are going on. And then the community, like I mentioned, most communities have some sort of band that you can be a part of uh, once you're out there in the real world and have another opportunity to continue to play for a long, long time. Music is part of our worship, as I mentioned. Um, God actually asks for us to participate in music in church, and this is a great way to learn another way to do that. If you already play tone chimes, play handbells, if you play piano, uh, another opportunity. If you don't do any of those things, this might be your first opportunity to do join and do those kinds of things, which would be great. And as I mentioned, many of our students play for chapel and or church services throughout the year. 
And music is fun and rewarding. Uh, we teach different things. Obviously, we talk about music, but those are things that will carry over into other areas of life as well. So they'll learn how to work hard, uh, persistence. Things may not always go the way you want them to the first time. Uh, working on things, uh, improving on things, those are all great skills that you can use for everything, not just for music. And we do a lot of things that help students make friendships that can last a lifetime. Some of my best friends currently are friends that I was went to school with, I was in band with, all the way back when I was in grade school, uh, through high school and into college. Um, different people that you meet along the way, you know, you, you find you have a lot in common with lots of people, and uh, music might, might be one of those great, great things. This is a quote I ran into a couple of years ago, um, and I'll read it for you just in case it's too small on whatever you might be watching it on, that I think is very, very good quote. Parents must know there's far more to band than buying an instrument, taking private lessons, adding music class to the school schedule, and rehearsing for a concert. Being a musician maps the human mind for success, success in all avenues of life. The learned skills needed to excel in music are transferable to every academic subject. Playing a musical instrument creates a multi-dimensional template of quality, adaptable and applicable to every personal and professional challenge. So specifically, some of the different things that we do. Our program is basically built of two different sides. We have private lessons out at the elementary schools, uh, once we're back at our elementary schools, of course. Uh, this year, we've actually finished off uh, our year. We have one more week of lessons. We've been doing all of our lessons online through Zoom, which was a very interesting uh, possibility for us at the beginning. Uh, now it kind of seems like we've been doing that for a really, really long time. Um, but normally our lessons are one-on-one -on -one at the schools. Sometimes we do things in small groups if students want to get together to play duets, work on something for chapel, things like that. But the majority of those are going to be one-on-one -on -one at the schools. And then um, there's a hyperlink here. If you want to uh, click on that, you can. That will take you to a document that is also on our website, if you want to look there. Uh, that's called the Kettle Moraine Lutheran Elementary School Band Program, Musical Groups and Provisions is the name of that document. It steps you through the different groups that we have. So we've got multiple groups for concert band, we have a jazz band, we have a marching band, we have a percussion ensemble, uh, lots of different things. Um, the three concert bands are basically by ability level, so the beginners will be in one group, second year students in another, and then third and fourth year students in a third group. Um, that gives them a chance to take what they're learning in the lessons and put that together. Also gives them a good chance for fellowship, get to meet with other students. Uh, it's really neat seeing the freshmen when they get here to KML to see how many students are hanging out together who didn't go to grade school together. And they may have met on a basketball team, they may have met in a rehearsal for, for band, things like that. So it's really neat to see students come here who maybe came from a smaller school, but when they get here actually realize they know a lot of people already need opportunity there. Special events we have throughout the year. Uh, we have a returning student band camp. That's the first thing, basically the beginning of, of next year. It's late July. Uh, that's a camp for our students who are already in the band program. We get together, just kind of get everybody back in shape for the year, spend some time uh, one afternoon at a water park so they get to just have a little bit of fun too, in addition to getting back to, to work. The beginning student band camp we'll talk a little bit more about. That would be for our new students. That's the first week of August and is a good chance for students to get a good head start before the school year starts. It's not a requirement, so if you're busy that week, can't make it, um, you can start certainly when school starts. Different concerts throughout the year, we'll talk about some of those as well coming up. We have a solo and ensemble festival where students can play uh, a small group thing or a solo if they would like. Family Music Fest is a big event we have here at Kettle every year, uh, as long as we don't have a worldwide pandemic getting in our way. Um, Family Music Fest is a great time. Um, we actually go through hours and hours of music. We have games, we have food. It's just a really neat opportunity to get together there. Awards Day is an event we normally have near the end of the year. Students get to come out of school early. They meet here. We get them together with the high school students on the stage. It's pretty neat to see all of our fifth through 12th grade students in one huge band. We play some music together, head to the YMCA for a few hours, come back, have a pizza party, and pass out all of our awards. So that's kind of our, our big celebration at the end of each school year. And then our last event is that we march in the West Bend Memorial Day Parade each year, again, assuming that there aren't other things stopping us from doing that like this year. So that's a little bit of a highlight of some of our special events. 
As I mentioned, the beginning student band camp, uh, that's August 3rd through 6th. We're gonna run for three hours each morning. That'll be here at KML and the camp itself is free. There's no charge for that. Um, White House of Music, and you'll hear from a representative in a moment uh, from White House, they actually loan us instruments for the week. If you don't already have one, that's okay. It's a fantastic opportunity to get here just to try it out, even if you're not sure if you want to do that. Um, hopefully, as things start to open up again a little bit more too, um, I, would, I, would, I haven't asked, I guess, but I'm assuming. Uh, in the past, I know they've, at White House, have uh, given the opportunity for students to come in and try instruments. Um, normally, that's something that we would have done this past week and we would have done today, um, but we couldn't do that. So as things open back up, um, we'll certainly encourage you to um, get, you know, get out to a music store if you wanna try some instruments. Um, if we're able, we'll, we'll maybe do something here at KML as well. Uh, to let you come in and try some different things. Um, otherwise, uh, if we're all back up and running in time for camp, if you wanna just pick an instrument there and if you decide you know, that week, maybe this wasn't the one for me, we can always try something different when school starts. So that's a little bit about our beginning student band camp. Cost for the program, uh, the normal rate is $510 for the school year, and uh, that covers everything, including the lessons, it covers rehearsals, uh, the activities we go on, so it won't be um, you know, a, a thing where we're gonna go on this trip, so we need another $10 from you, or we're gonna go on this trip, so uh, we need another you know, $30 for this. All of the things are included in that cost. Um, we'll actually provide a good chunk of the books in addition to the, the music that we use for concerts through that as well. Um, that can be paid in full. It can also be broken up into eight monthly payments. So if that's a, a pretty big number that doesn't work for you all at once, uh, there's a way that once we get things going that we can break that into payments for you. There is a $140 discount for first time students. So that would include all of the, the new students this year. So that would come off the, the 510, leaving you with 370. And we do have some financial assistance available. We have a fundraiser every fall that we do and that helps pay for some instruments and we set some of that money aside to help people pay for the band program as well. And we do have instruments because of that that we can use as well that uh, we might be able to loan you throughout the year. As far as finding an instrument goes, um, there's another document that I have on the website for you. It's also clickable here. Um, and it just says how and where to get an instrument on the top talks a little bit more about the, the band camp um, and that White House of Music will help us out with that. And then there are some other instruments that we have here at KML that you may not be able to rent or maybe you can rent, but because of the value of the instruments, it, it gets pretty tough to rent those. So uh, we do, do have some instruments here. If you're interested in some of those bigger ones, we can talk about that and help you out a little bit. We do have some smaller ones too. Um, so trumpets and saxophones and flutes and clarinets. Uh, we have some that we might be able to uh, rent out or loan out to you as well. Uh, encouragement there would be if you do have an instrument, especially if it's been in a closet for a few years that you make sure to get that checked out. We don't want students to struggle because of the instrument. If, if they're having trouble, uh, you know, they're gonna assume that it's their fault and then maybe be discouraged and we wanna make sure that the instrument's working fine. Uh, that will help us help the students as we go along the way as well. Registration is all done online. Um, that's done that way every year, so uh, no change there for us this year. Our website's listed on there. There's a Google form you can fill out uh, for either camp. If you aren't able to make it for camp um, on the form, you can just actually check there that you won't be there for camp, but you're interested uh, in the school year, and then we can make sure to get you all the information as that comes up. Uh, other than that, the information's there, um, and there's really no Additional stuff I guess I would need to say about that. Um, I did mention if you want to break the payments up into eight monthly payments, uh, that's where the um, information on the, the last dot there takes you through that information just a little bit. Next, I'm gonna turn things over to Vince from White House of Music. He's gonna just tell you a little bit about uh, the programs that they offer, and then I'll be back for any questions you might have and just to wrap things up, Vince. Good afternoon, everyone. Again, my name is Vince. I'm here from White House of Music. We've put together a real nice working relationship. We have a program where you can get this instrument for your child for the week of the band camp at no charge to you whatsoever. Um, they'll have some supplies. 
uh, things like that that will all come with it so the instruments will be ready to go as soon as we deliver. We will bring them out for the first day of band camp. We put name tags on everything so everything is clearly marked. All your child has to do is show up for that camp and then they will give you the instrument. At the end of band camp, uh, there's a small concert and we'll have a representative here. If you decide you do not want to continue, you simply return the instrument to us at that point and there is no charge whatsoever. If you want to keep going, which we hope, of course, that's what you'll do, you simply take your instrument home and at that point, the following week is when they'll bill you for that instrument's rental. As far as the rental rates themselves, we have a couple of ways you can do this. Um, rentals can be done either on a monthly basis or they can be done on a school year. There is a discount when you prepay for the school year. If for any reason after band camp, the instrument you selected wasn't what you thought it was gonna be, you can exchange it. And there is also a prorated refund on those done for the school year. The other option, our monthly rental, we have a special where you get three months for the price of one, and then it's done on that monthly rate thereafter. So we have three categories of instruments. The first one are the flutes, clarinets, trumpets, trombones, and percussion. Our monthly rate is $27. Again, they have that special three for one, and then 27 per month thereafter. The school year rate is a one-time fee of $179. It'll run from August till June 15th of 2021. So obviously, if you break that down by 10 months, you're down to $17.90 per month. So there is some savings doing it by the school year. Second category of instrument is the alto sax. Again, the monthly rate is 46. The school year rate is 299. The last category is gonna be baritones, French horns, oboe, tenor sax, monthly rate of 55, school year rate of 329. So you have a couple of options as far as the rentals go that way. In addition to the rental, we do offer a maintenance and repair policy. On your instruments, the first category, flutes, clarinets, trumpets, trombones, percussion, it is 100% coverage on the instrument and case period. It is $5 a month. The second and third category are $6 a month. Again, the same thing holds true. Maintenance and repair covers little brothers, pets, putting that instrument on the back of your car, forgetting to put it in the car when you back up. So it is a very great coverage and it makes life very simple for parents. Um, there are a few items you would actually purchase in addition to the rental. If you stay in with it, they've put together what we call a care kit. It has the different reeds, that you would need for a clarinet, saxophone, or oboe. It'll have swabs for cleaning out the instruments. For the brass instruments, it's gonna have different types of oils and greases and so forth. Last but least, if you need a music stand at home, that would be the only other additional purchase. As far as the rentals go, you're paying for the time use of the instrument. At any point, should you decide to purchase, we offer a 40% discount on the purchase of either a reconditioned or a brand new instrument. So again, it's a very flexible thing. It gives you time to kind of figure out where you're going and how you'd like to continue. Last but least, we are on a kind of limited basis right now. We are doing some curbside uh, stuff, but you cannot get into any of our locations. So the rentals, we have a really nice web page. If you go to whitehouseofmusic.com and it'll walk you through the rental process itself. Once you get to our website, if you go to the Dropbox, open it up, select rentals online, Go to the bottom of that page, hit the least to learn icon, and it will start you out. You'll select band, and then it's going to ask for the school district. For school district, please put in Kettle Moraine Lutheran. It'll be part of that Dropbox. And then it's going to ask you for the school. We know that you're coming from 12 or 13 different schools. So again, instead of the individual school name, we have just made one Kettle Moraine Lutheran High School. That would be the one you would click on. After that, it'll walk you through the rest of the rental and show you the pricing on each item as we've discussed. If you do have questions and you'd like to contact me directly, you can reach me at vince at whitehouseofmusic.com. We're happy to answer any questions that way, or feel free. Again, our locations are open from noon to six. You can get a live person and just get information if you have more questions on the rental. Thank you. Thank you, Vince. Uh, more information online, uh, our website is listed there. We do have a Facebook page as well. Uh, we get information out there and just kind of put some other fun stuff on there. We have a video of the week, different things that we do um, through all of this. It's been a way for us to kind of communicate a little bit more too as we've gone along. And then uh, there is a link there to White House of Music's website as well. Other than that, uh, Basically, that's all I have. Um, it looks like we don't have any questions right now. So um, I will just thank you for tuning in if you were tuning in live or watching later. Um, 
the second link right there is my email address. So um, if you don't have questions now or just didn't get them in in time, uh, please feel free to contact me at any point. I would be happy to answer any questions you have. Um, send documents if you have trouble finding them on the website, anything like that. Right now, if you go right to our main website, everything that we talked about today is listed right there. You just got to scroll down. Videos for students to check out if you haven't already uh, would be great. A little bit of a demo for each of the instruments. You get to hear what they sound like a little bit since we weren't able to do that with you. And then uh, some information will be coming to you through the mail as well. Uh, there's a brochure for parents, one for students, and a letter that just kind of explains some different things. Uh, those are actually in PDF form on the website as well. So if you want to look around on there, great. If you want to wait a couple of days, you'll get some information in the mail and we should be good to go from there. So thank you very much. Uh, we look forward to actually seeing some of you in person. Uh, again, this is kind of strange doing this without you guys here. Students, we would love to get to meet you guys, um, see you a little bit more. I stopped in your schools back in December, but that was a really long time ago, and I promised I would be back, and it wasn't my fault. Uh, but we're looking forward to seeing you guys again uh, as soon as we can down the road. Thank you very much.